welcome back students today we will going to discuss about the next part of the frequency selective network that is the parallel resonance circuit and in case of the parallel resonance circuit we have seen the different parameters to find out the parameters the parallel resonance circuit as well as the design consideration in case of the parallel resonance circuit uh, here there are the r l and c these r l and c component will be connected in parallel across the voltage v is applied across it and the total current i0 is flowing through the resistance r inductor l and c respectively for this fashion we called it is the parallel resonance in case of the parallel resonance we have find out the total admittance there is a y total which is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 so y total which is equal to y total which is equal to 1 upon r is the admittance plus 1 upon j omega l plus 1 upon 1 upon j omega c means minus j upon omega c so what we do here uh, to find out the total admittance y total which is equal to 1 upon r plus this j operator will be transferred from denominator to numerator therefore it is a changes its sign from plus to minus plus j omega c means minus j omega c it will become to the plus j omega c and 1 upon 1 upon omega c it will become from denominator to numerator side so this uh, arrangement for this equation is uh, going to be converted into the plus j omega c Therefore, your total admittance y total which is equal to 1 upon r plus minus j upon omega l plus j omega c. Therefore, y total which is equal to 1 upon r plus j. Here is j and uh, omega l. Here is the minus 1 upon omega l. That's why this equation is uh, modified j omega c minus j upon omega l. So this j parameter will be taken as a common that's why y total which is equal to 1 upon r plus j inside the bracket omega c minus 1 upon omega l. Therefore at a resonance there is an inductance which is equal to the capacitance value means xl which is equal to xc uh, hence at a resonance will be occurred therefore omega c which is equal to 1 upon omega l. That's why what we do omega square which is equal to 1 upon LC and omega which is equal to 1 upon under root of LC. Therefore resonance frequency is calculated F0 which is equal to uh, 1 upon 2 pi square root of LC. Hence at a resonance, uh, at a resonance the impedance consists of only the conductance value which is a G and the value of the current will be minimum since the total admittance uh, the value of the total admittance that value of the total admittance is also minimum and the voltage and current for in case of the parallel resonance the voltage and current the both value are in phase with each other then different parameters in the parallel resonance circuit the parallel resonance circuit has the same parameter uh, as the series resonance circuit Therefore, the resonance frequency we calculated omega 0 which is equal to 1 upon under root of LC radians per second. So, half power frequency is calculated. There is a lower cutoff frequency and higher cutoff frequency. Lower cutoff frequency omega 1 which is equal to minus 1 upon 2RC plus under root of 1 upon 2RC bracket raised to square plus 1 upon LC radian per second. And omega 2 which is equal to 1 upon 2 rc means j only the difference is there is a sign change at a lower frequency there is a minus sign and upper frequency there is a positive sign therefore omega 2 which is equal to 1 upon 2 rc plus under root of 1 upon 2 rc bracket square plus 1 upon lc radians per second this is the half power frequencies so in case of the bandwidth bandwidth should be calculated there is a difference between the two frequency upper cutoff frequency minus lower cutoff frequency and the bandwidth beta which is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1 which is equal to 1 upon rc so quality factor there is quality factor is the resonance frequency upon bandwidth 
bandwidth which is equal to 1 upon rc that's why q which is equal to omega 0 upon 1 upon rc therefore omega 0 rc this is the value of the quality factor then in this example we solve to find out the different parameters of the parallel resonance circuit in this circuit diagram there is the input voltage should be 10 sin omega t means its amplitude value is the 10 the value of the resistance r is a given 8 kilo ohm r which is equal to 8 kilo ohm inductor l which is equal to 0 0.2 milli henry and c which is equal to 8 microfarad so calculate the uh, angular frequency omega 0 quality factor q bandwidth beta lower cutoff frequency omega 1 upper cutoff frequency omega 2 and power dissipation at all that means uh, angular frequency upper cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency we calculated it means with the help of the all above equations we easily calculated that all the parameters in the second example also a parallel resonance circuit in case of the parallel resonance circuit has r which is equal to 100 kilo ohm l which is equal to 25 milli henry and c which is equal to 5 nanofarad so we have first to draw the circuit diagram and in the circuit diagram there is an input voltage v sin omega t that will be provided uh, resistance R, inductor L and capacitor C uh, all R means for this example uh, resistance R, inductor L and capacitor C are connected in parallel with the applied voltage and omega 0 which is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root of LC means to find out uh, omega 0 which is equal to 1 upon root LC to calculate the value of the omega 0 same omega 1 and omega 2 should be calculated quality factor q which is equal to angular frequency upon bandwidth should be calculated or 1 upon rc to find out its bandwidth as well as the quality factor so here is the different applications of the resonance circuit it means serial resonance circuit as well as the parallel resonance circuit we have calculated it here so in case of the passive filter a filter is the circuit what is mean by the filter the filter is the circuit that is designed to pass the signal with the desired frequency and reject or attenuates the other frequency or useless frequency we have filtered it or to reject it uh, this type of the circuit is called as the filter circuit this filter circuit is able to pass only the particular range of the frequency or designed frequency whereas all other frequency should be bypassed through the ground which is called as the filter circuit the filter is the passive filter if it consists only the passive element means uh, the passive filter it consists the only the passive elements means uh, resistor inductor and capacitor and filter that can be used for the resonance circuit the, there is a uh, again there are the different configurations first is the band pass filter band stop filter then all pass filter notch filter that all filters are able to use uh, for the resonance circuit but now here we see in basic there is a bandpass filter and bandstop filter in case of the bandpass filter in a bandpass filter is a designed to pass all the frequencies within in between the omega 1 and omega 2 means this is the central frequency in the central frequency there is a maximum the frequency is able to pass through it and in between the two frequency this is the ideal case here is the ideal case means 100 percent signal is able to pass through it but in case of the practically here is actual the signal means once the frequency is goes to the increases its saturation factor is also goes to the increases from uh, omega lower cutoff frequency to the center frequency and after center frequency to the upper cutoff frequency frequency is goes on the increases and attenuation is a goes on the decreases and it be in between that there is a one upon root two times of the maximum attenuation there is a 0 0.707 means 70.7 percent of the maximum frequency is able to pass in between the two angular frequencies omega 1 and omega 2 means its bandwidth is omega 2 minus omega 1 means only this particular band of the frequency is able to pass through this filter which is called as the bandpass filter then in case of the bandpass filter here is l 
uh, C and R that will be connected in series and to find out its omega 0 which is equal to 1 upon root of LC means the angular frequency we calculated F0 which is equal to 1 upon 2 pi square root of LC. Then here is the lower cutoff frequency and upper cutoff frequency with the help of this exam uh, equation we find out it. Then bandwidth is the omega 2 minus omega 1 which is equal to R upon L. And uh, here is the Q which is equal to omega 0 upon beta means omega 0 upon beta means omega 2 minus omega 1. And uh, here beta which is equal to R upon L. Hence uh, 1 upon root of LC. Root of LC. So that here is Q which is equal to under root of L upon C R square. This is the equation to find out the quality factor of the band pass filter. Then parallel RLC circuit, in case of the parallel RLC circuit, uh, in case of the bandpass filter, uh, resistance are in series with the voltage sources and uh, your inductor and capacitor are connected in parallel. So that here is to find out the angular frequency omega 0 which is equal to 1 upon root of LC. Then omega 1 and omega 2, these two are the upper cutoff and lower cutoff frequency and to find out the bandwidth beta which is equal to omega 2 minus omega 1 which is equal to 1 upon rc so q which is equal to omega 0 upon beta which is equal to we substitute the value beta which is equal to 1 upon rc here so quality factor q which is equal to root of r square c upon l then here in case of the band stop filter in case of the band stop filter the band 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 stop filter a particular band of the frequency is attenuated whereas all other frequencies should be transmitted this type of the filter is called as the band stop filter so in case of the band stop or band stop or band reject filter is designed to stop or reject all the frequencies within in between the omega 1 to omega 2 which is called as a band stop filter or band reject filter then uh, here angular frequency is in between here is also the angular frequency omega 0 means where a zero attenuation should be obtained in between that here omega 1 and omega 2 for this this is the ideal case and only that frequency omega 2 minus omega 1 is attenuated where is here is acting as the stop band and uh, this is the pass band means this frequency means 0 to omega 1 and omega 2 onwards the frequency is a pass through the circuit whereas in between the omega 1 to omega 2 for this frequency range your circuit is attenuated or to reject the frequency this type of the filter is called as the band stop filter in case of the series RLC circuit we have calculated on the same way in case of the band stop filter where omega 0 which is equal to 1 upon root of LC omega 1 and omega 2 these are the two angular frequencies and beta is the bandwidth there is a w2 minus w1 means omega 2 minus omega 1 which is equal to r upon L. once we have calculated the quality factor quality factor q which is equal to the angular frequency upon the bandwidth we substitute the value r upon L in this equation to the here then this equation is a modified q which is equal to root of l upon cr square in case of the band stop filter in case of the band stop filter where l and c are connected in a parallel parallel uh, in case of the band pass filter resistance are come in series with the voltage source and here l and c are connected in a parallel but here in case of the band stop filter where L and C are connected in parallel and which is come in series with the voltage source. This is the a big difference between the band stop and band pass filter in concern with the parallel RLC circuit. And here resistance are in series with the parallel combination of the R and L. So we calculated the angular frequency omega 0 which is equal to 1 upon root of LC. Omega 1 which is equal to minus 1 upon 2 RC plus under root of square bracket of 1 upon 2 rc square plus uh, under root of 1 upon lc so upper cut of frequency only there is a sign is a changes from minus to plus 
whereas all other terms should be same so we calculated the term beta that is beta which is equal to w2 minus w1 which is equal to 1 upon rc and finally we calculated the quality factor the quality factor q which is equal to angular frequency upon the bandwidth means here uh, omega 0 upon the omega 2 minus omega 1 and omega 0 which is equal to 1 upon root lc upon 1 upon rc so we modified the equation in concern with this then q which is equal to r square c upon lc so thanks for watching my this video i hope that you understand the parallel resonance circuit and series resonance circuit in the frequency selective network topic if any query any doubts please you write on my comment page please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon thank you have a nice day